I need to tell you about this cute episode in the history of physics that I just recently learned about. It isn't science news, but more like science olds, I guess, but it was news to me. This story plays out in the 1960s in the United States. Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity had become accepted, but it didn't attract a huge amount of attention because no one really knew what to do with it. One exception was the American physicist and astronomer Robert Dicke. He picked up on an idea by Paul Dirac, who had argued that the gravitational constant in Einstein's theory isn't constant. The gravitational constant is the big G in Einstein's field equations, and it's the same as Newton's gravitational constant. If it was time-dependent, that would change Einstein's theory and have observable consequences. Dicke developed this idea further with Karl Brands, and it became known as brands dicke theory. This brands dicke theory of gravitation gives rise to a type of gravitational waves that do not exist in Einstein's theory. They're called scalar gravitational waves, and they're concentric. Dicke now had the idea that such scalar gravitational waves could trigger earthquakes. And these earthquakes should be correlated with changes in the spinning rate of Earth. This was a very distinct prediction and one that was testable. He set a student on the task. Dicke's idea was bunk. Those funny gravitational waves were never found and Brandt's Dicke theory has by now been ruled out. But here's where things get interesting. The name of the student who he put on the topic was William Jason Morgan, who was at this time in his early 20s. He had studied physics, but now he had to learn a lot of geology. Scientists had noticed around 1900 or so that the shapes of the continents fit together and had probably broken apart from one big piece in the past. This had given rise to the idea of continental drift, but they didn't know how that worked or how the plates drifted. Morgan keeps staring at the images of Earth and realizes that all that drifting can be described by spherical transpositions, provided one also takes into account the oceans, not just the continental plates. Morgan wrote his PhD thesis on the search for those funky gravitational waves, but would go on to publish his theory of tectonic plates and developed secondary ideas from this, like that earthquakes and volcanoes preferably happen where tectonic plates meet, and so on. Basically, all you've ever heard about tectonic plates goes back to Morgan. Morgan just passed away some months ago at the age of 87. I learned about this in his obituary. I think this is an amazing story about how smartly pursuing a completely wrong idea led to groundbreaking scientific advances in another area entirely. I hope you like it too. This video doesn't have a sponsor, so in my own mission, I want to encourage you to check out our new quiz app. We've developed this as the fastest and easiest way to learn. For just two and a half euro a month, you'll get access to all features, collect points, appear in rankings, see instantly whether your answers were right or wrong, see the full transcript with links to references, and soon we'll also have some premium content. We'll use your support to further develop the app and make it accessible to other creators so you're not just helping us. Thanks for watching.